Hey church, it's me, Chip, and I am excited to be bringing you the devotions for the next week. How cool is that? I hope that you're ready for this. The theme that I have chosen is What If? I don't know if maybe you've come across the Marvel series, What If? Where they just take a few of the famous Marvel characters as superheroes and they ask, what if it was this person instead of this person? What if they chose this decision instead of another and it would change the whole narrative? And uh, I'm not going to do it in a super controversial way, but I do think that there are some lessons we can learn from famous Bible stories simply by asking, what if? And today, to kick things off, I would like to ask the question, what if Saul fought Goliath instead of David? What? Some people know this, that in 1 Samuel 17, verses 38 to 39, it says, Saul dressed David in his own tunic. This is when he was about to fight Goliath. And he put a coat of armor on David and a bronze helmet on David's head. David fastened on his, uh, Saul's sword over the tunic and he tried walking around. It didn't really work. He wasn't used to them. And then David says to Saul, I can't go in these because I am not used to them. So he took them off. And most of us know the rest of the story that David ends up fighting Goliath with just a sling and a stone, defeats him. The whole nation wins. It's like this big epic victory. So why am I asking the question, what if Saul fought Goliath instead of David? Well, if you rewind back seven chapters to 1 Samuel 10, you actually discover that Saul is a giant. What? Yes, we read that Saul, when he was first chosen to be king, he was so shy that he was found hiding among the supplies. Then when he finally appeared, everyone could see that he was at least a head taller than anyone in the crowd, anyone in his whole tribe. Basically, the Bible is telling us that Saul was a giant. And if anyone was qualified to take on Goliath, it should have been King Saul. Oh, talk about imposter syndrome. Uh, instead, when the Philistine shouts his threats, Saul turns into a shy giant again and even tries to dress David in his armor, possibly as a way of fooling even his own army into believing that it was King Saul all along. It's like the most cowardly thing you could possibly do. So what's the lesson? What's the moral of this what if story? Well, I think one of the lessons we could learn is this. What challenges are we avoiding from a place of fear instead of fighting from a place of faith. The fight or flight instinct is very real across all sorts of areas in our lives. But as Christians, we know that Jesus has already won the victory on the cross. So we don't have to live our lives like a shy giant. We can walk in freedom. We can stand tall with confidence and faith, knowing that he who is in us is greater than he who's in the world. So let that fuel your day today. I hope that it encourages you like it encouraged me. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to be looking at what if Lot's wife, you know, the one that turned into a pillar of salt for looking back at her old life. What if she didn't look back? What if she kept focus? God bless you guys. Have a really great day. Hope this is encouraging to you as it was for me as well.